Tonight we are going to be servicing my filter, my canister filter that is on my 38 gallon tropical tank. Um, what I'm running on there is a Hydor Professional 350 external filter. And uh, I thought it was time to service it and also clean the pipes, um, tubing for it. So I thought I'd show you how I do that. And uh, as I start, I want to give a thanks to Dan Hitchu. What are your videos on how to service your canister? Um, help me decide to get a canister filter. And um, I do think they're really great for keeping your wa water really clear. So tonight's the night to clean it all out. Um, and my fish are going to appreciate it. So um, first things first, as you'll see in the sink here, we got uh, all the tubing off. We have the spray bar, we've got the uh, exit pipe, or the return piping, and the intake piping, and the intake setting, uh, piping there, the fancy thing that goes in the tank there. Um, when I was draining, I thought I'd show you guys, when I was draining the um, pipes themselves, I catch the water that might spray out in a uh, into this bucket here so there's this is just debris itself that come that gets stuck in the pipes on this hydro filter um, the filter itself has clear piping so it's nice to be able to see that it is gunked up and maybe it's time for you to go ahead and change it so I'm going to go ahead and dump this out into my sink I wanted to show you a way that um, has made it easy for me to clean these pipes. You'll notice on my sink here on the nozzle there the previous owners actually put a threaded end onto the faucet here so that's actually made it really easy for me to be able to take just a piece of my python and apply it, um, just screw it in here, put it on the bottom there, just happen to fit um, if I ever own a different house, I'm definitely going to take this trick with me, but so you put it on there and then what you're able to do is plug your, um, dirty hose right into the bottom of this. And then what I do is use a, um, old scrap piece of washcloth that I cut up, put it at the end of the tube and then run it through. And then that clears out all the gunk in the tube. So that way, when I plug my filter back in, it doesn't just snow in my tank a bunch of gross stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. So um, let me get this started and I'll take you along with me. So I will go ahead and get this little washcloth. As you can see, I've just cut like a little piece here that's not very long. It's off the edge so it stays together, but I don't even know if that matters. But so I just jam it in. jam it in, in there and then because of the tubing and the python setup this just sets perfectly in there and I turn the water on try to not spray things everywhere and just let it run through and it runs a little slow so you just got to be patient but all the gunk comes out And that is a lot more clean. So I just take that and then let me move guys up a little bit more. Now that you've seen the front end, I run it backwards real quick. So I just shove it in here and the end here. jam it up onto the python fitting and see this is this tubing is like so thick that it doesn't really fit on the end there very well but you see even that second time there was a lot that got cleared out of this um, tubing here and set it to the side Let's clean this bugger out, but let's put it on here and we'll just make sure this doesn't shoot out of the sink. 
and run it through. It's a little bit slow, but all the gunk gets thrown out. Our little washcloth comes out nasty and just rinse it off. And I recently put some wood in my tank that is dyeing the water to a darker color. So I think it's dyeing the um, tube, which is not a big deal. I just want to make sure to get all the gunk out of it. So here I am, I'm running it backwards. So it goes back through. You can see there's still a lot of stuff that came out of there. And again, this is like the intake tube. So this one's going to have the most stuff in it. And so I'm just going to do it again because I am going to use this uh, shoving the little washcloth in there. Put it up on the nozzle. Turn the nozzle on. Aim it away from your face. Okay. So I think that looks pretty clean. I think there's probably some more gunk on there, but the main thing is when I t plug in everything back to my filter, it's not going to snow on my tank. All this stuff isn't going to, once the air bubbles run through it and massage it all, it's not going to make it terrible and gunky in my tank. So, Okay, so now that I've cleaned the tubing, I'm going to clean the filter part itself. Um, but this is the filter part itself. The 350 has four baskets about this size and the one on the top has a top plate. Um, where did I get this? I was just lucky and got it off a guy in um, Indiana off of Craigslist. So, and I got it with my tank too. So that was a pretty good deal. Um, what I've done in this little packet here is just put um, charcoal. So I'm just going to throw that to the side. This is just a bunch of, this is just a bunch of batting that I put in here to catch everything. I think what I'm going to try to do though is, I'm going to definitely throw this out because it's nasty. What I'm going to do is try putting this before it gets to the biomedia. So in order to maintain my um, biofilter, I just filtered a little bit of the water out of my tank and I'm just going to throw things in there and rinse it rinse it out. I'm just going to leave that in there for a second. So let me grab this one. This is just filled with fluval rings here. Looks nice and grody. So I'm just going to dunk it, in, dunk it to rinse it and shake it. Set this aside. Here's the second tray, just the same thing. And now the water is looking really cloudy and getting more junk in there, but these filter rings can just look how they look. And at the bottom, it comes with a sponge. So I'm just going to peel this guy out. And dunk the basket. Shake it out. Other basket out since we're at the bottom now. Take our lid out. And so I'm just going to come over here and just if you can see the water in the bucket um, it's pretty dark because the tannins in the water um, have really darkened my water a lot which I don't really mind. I know it will eventually fade or if it doesn't that's all right. So now that I know I've got the tank water and I haven't killed any of my uh, beneficial bacteria, I'm just going to take my filters and start putting them back together here real quick. And this is a pretty nice system because it's whichever one, they can, they're all the same size. So you can slot them in wherever you want. Just put the sponge on the bottom always. 
Like I said, I'm going to do the filter floss second. Let me pour out my old water, see how much tannins are in there. And then you can see the dirt coming out of the filter. This is a long time coming to clean this filter out. And then, gross bro, okay. And then, I don't worry about the canister itself keeping its uh, beneficial bacteria too much. I'm gonna put so much more back in there and the tank itself has it. Okay, so now I've got the bottom part of the filter, the bottom filter tray here with the sponge that I rinsed out. And there's always a dog hair in there or a cat hair from me. This is the second layer I'm gonna do with the um, batting. And so all I did was cut it roughly the size and then I'm just gonna cut a little slit over here with my baby scissors. Slit, little slit. Then rip a hole. So it fits over the intake or whatever the, so it fits over the intake and then just slide this puppy in here and put that over the hole like that. Shove it all in. And then what I'm going to do next is make a little piece of batting. Since I don't have that much left, so I'm going to go for broke. I'm going to put a little bit more on top of this and then I'm going to make another, um, put some charcoal in between these layers here. I don't think I'm going to make a little pouch again because there's so much in here and that will help clarify my water. And I'm just going to throw a bunch that I have, just any random brand, um, just throw some here in the middle. how much that is that's probably good okay now clean up the droppings in a little bit let's clip our little piece to go there's all my clean pipe pieces put this guy take out the baby scissors do a clip, shove this guy over here, tuck this in, there's a little bit sticking out, so I'll just fold it over. Okay, there we go. So here's our bottom layer, here's our next layer, and then I'm gonna take the biological ceramic filtration, put that up on the top two layers and this is what I was saying with the hydro filter it's nice because the plates fit together and then this curved side you know which one's the front because the front of the canister itself is curved so they just slot right down in there you hook it up and do a quick water change bye All right, so here we are after the filter has been serviced and water has been changed. It's very, very bubbly in there. I think it has something to do with the winter time when water out of the tap is just super bubbly, but um, I'll do a story time about this tank pretty soon. But this is my community tank downstairs, my 38 gallon.